Hey everybody, we are here. We're going to go ahead and do our daily Bible reading. Gospel of Matthew, uh, chapter 11. So we did 10 yesterday. And it came to pass when Jesus had made an end of commanding his 12 disciples, he departed thence to teach and to preach in their cities. Now, when John had heard in the prison the works of Christ, he sent two of his disciples and said unto him, Art thou he that should come, or do we look for another? Jesus answered and said unto him, Go and shew John again those things which ye do hear and see. The blind receive their sight and the lame walk. The lepers are cleansed and the deaf hear. The dead are raised up and the poor have the gospel preached to them. And blessed is he, whosoever shall not be offended in me. And as they departed, Jesus began to say unto the multitudes concerning John, What went ye out into the wilderness to see? A reed shaken with the wind? But what went ye out for to see? A man clothed in soft raiment. Behold, they that wear soft clothing are a king's houses. But what went ye out for to see? A prophet. Yea, I say unto you, and more than a prophet. For this is he of whom it is written, Behold, I send my messenger before thy face, which shall prepare thy way before thee. Verily I say unto you, among them that are born of women, there hath not risen a greater than John the Baptist. Notwithstanding, he that is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than me. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffereth violence, and the violent take it by force. For all the prophets in the law prophesied unto John, until John, and if ye will receive it, this is Elias, which was for to come. He that hath ears to hear, let him hear. But whereunto shall I like in this generation? It is like unto children sitting in the markets and calling unto their fellows and saying, We have piped unto you, and ye have not danced. We have mourned unto you, and ye have not lamented. For John came neither eating nor drinking, and they say, He hath a devil. The Son of Man came eating and drinking, and they say, Behold, a man gluttonous and a wine-bibber, a friend of publicans and sinners, but wisdom is justified of her children. Then began he to upbraid the cities wherein most of his mighty works were done, because they repented not. Woe unto thee, Chorazon! Woe unto thee, Bethesda! For if the mighty works which were done in you had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented long ago. In sackcloth and ashes. Got a fire truck coming, so we'll pause for a second. All right, we're back. But I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon at the day of judgment than for you. And thou, Capernaum, which art exalted unto heaven, shalt be brought down to hell. For if the mighty works which have been done in thee had been done in Sodom, it would have remained until this day. But I say unto you that it shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom in the day of judgment than for thee. <clears throat> At the time of Jesus... At that time, Jesus answered and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent, and hast revealed them unto the babes. Even so, Father, for so it seemed good in thy sight. All things are delivered unto me of my Father, and no man knoweth the Son but the Father. Neither knoweth any man the Father, save the Son. And he, to whomsoever the Son will reveal him, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. 
Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Chapter 11, Book of Matthew. We'll go ahead and pray, and I, I got to go back from lunch here soon. So, Lord Jesus Christ, Lord, we come to you today, Lord. We thank you for the blessings you have given us, Lord. We thank you for allowing us to have time here on our lunch break to be able to get into your word, Lord. We love you, we honor you, and we cherish you. Be with my mom, Lord, as she has been in some tremendous pain here lately. And go ahead and, and just put your hedge of protection over her, Lord. I she she needs it. She's got some stuff going on there. Be with her with her diabetes. And that way we can figure out what's going on and what's causing it to drop low as often as it is anymore. We love you, Lord. And we pray that you be with our little Coey with all the grief and that she is still going through. We thank you for the resurgence we had through Coey. But he's had a few rough days here and he's not wanting to eat. So we pray for your mercy upon him, Lord, that he be able to just... Start feeling better again and start eating and be the company mom needs. We know he's getting older, but he's been a blessing to our lives that you have provided us with, Lord. We love you. In Jesus Christ's name we do pray. Amen. All right, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. Bye.